Hello, my name is Tiffany C. Wright, and I am the Resourceful CEO. Today, I'm here to talk to you about the Paycheck Protection Program, PPP, Loan Forgiveness. So for those of you who are sole proprietors, freelancers, self-employed, and so on, you or you just have no employees, you can use the 3580EZ form to file your um, to file your forgiveness application. And depending on your bank, you either will file directly with your bank. That's I believe that's the case in the overwhelming majority of the cases or with the SBA. But if you are filing with the SBA, your bank will tell you. Your bank or your fintech entity, whomever you use, because many of you, especially the ones that I just said, uh, self-employed, freelancers, and so on, many of you were unable to get PPP loans from your bank. I know because I helped a lot of you. You had to get it through a fintech leader uh, entity. That's the online entities that help, that provide funding to small businesses. That's what I mean by fintech. So they're, they use platforms online. They're not true banking institutions. They provide loans, but they don't provide banking accounts or investment accounts or anything like that, just strictly loans. And uh, so if you, if you use them or any other entity, then again, go to them. You, you should receive an email from them, but if you have not, then please go to their website and click around and find out where it says PPP loan forgiveness application and see what it says and follow the instructions. But you'll come upon a selection that says, do you want to use 3580EZ or do you want to use the long form? Use EZ. The long form is very intricate and complicated and requires all kinds of information and you don't need to do that. My philosophy since high school, when my chemistry teacher used this <laughs> term has been keep it simple stupid i don't believe that anyone is stupid but in order to you know to have the acronym kiss k-i-s-s -S, you need to have the stupid in there <laughs> for those of you who have a number of employees there's a couple of terms that you have to comply with that allow you uh, but if you comply with those terms, you also can use 3580EZ. So my recommendation to you is to see if you do comply with those terms and do whatever you can. If you do comply, do whatever, do whatever you can to, compl to use 3580EZ. Again, I've helped a number of companies submit their, successfully submit their PPP loan forgiveness application. That means that the loans were forgiven. <laughs> That's what I mean by successful. And so, uh, but yes, easy is a whole lot simpler than this just straightforward, I mean, than just the 3580 form. And that's it. If there's nothing else that you take away from here, it's PPP loan forgiveness application, 3580 easy, SB form 3580. Easy, okay? Short and to the point. My name is Tiffany C. Wright, and I am the resourceful CEO. By the way, please subscribe and let me know what topics you would like to hear about, and I'll gladly record videos that answer, that, that discuss those topics or answer any questions that you may have. That's what I'm here for.